I'm not only going to be breaking down how much it's going to cost to all that swap this vehicle right here. I'm also going to be breaking down in general how much it may cost to all that swap your vehicle. So there's two main things you have to pay for in a swap like this. One is, of course, the parts for the vehicle. And then two may not be for everyone, but labor. If you're not going to actually barehand rip out your old motor and throw in a new one, you're going to have to pay someone to do it. There's multiple ways you could go about getting the parts. You could buy a Savage tile, you know, from auction like Corvette or any other vehicle that has an LS1 or any LS engine you want to swap. But right here on this piece of paper, I have some notes on how much it may cost for the parts separately. The engine will probably be around a few thousand dollars, around three to five K. The transmission, assuming it'd be a six speed manual, because why would you put in a poopy four auto? One to two K, the rear subframe with suspension and axles would be also around one to two K. Now for this specific vehicle, that's what I need because it's front wheel drive right now. The rear subframe is pretty much non-existent. Most most likely I'm probably gonna take a rear end from like a C5, pray up here, get the axles. Hopefully the drive train will fit, but I don't really know. The front suspension will probably be around $500, the diff will be around $500 for the rear. A full brake system is around a couple thousand dollars and the drive shaft will be around $200. $500. This is also estimates for this specific vehicle. And this is where it really comes into like the big numbers game is the custom fabrication. What we'll probably have to do, I mean, hey, let's pop the hood real quick. <laughs> I'm not sure if I actually need to, you know, extend any part of this car to fit the engine. Some people are claiming I might have to, but as you can see, it has a pretty fair amount of room. Like it's in there. Don't get me wrong. It, there's not too much more room. We could, if we had to, we could push back the, you know, the firewall. There's a lot room back here low key look at this that could fit an ls1 back there maybe if not then the options is to push back the firewall and the dash a little bit or push out the front of the car the one thing that i don't know for sure though the really interesting part about the swap i've seen our prius appears to be stock with an ls1 engine and he has like kind of the stock dash too and everything so if you think you can't fit a va in here you're wrong and i'm about to do it here shortly my goal is to help a bank Try to get a business loan because to be honest, I'm broke and I don't want to wait that long, but how much would it cost to LS swap? Your vehicle. I'm not gonna cap. I was yapping for a second, but long story short, an LS swap will be costing on the low end 10 to 15K and on the high end 20 to 25K. Now, if for some reason you have your audio heard what the hell really sounds like, I highly recommend watching this video on screen right now.